Today we're going to be inspired by Anne Kahane's artwork, View from My Window Number 8. I'm going to show you an easy way to make your own Get Sketchy project at home with supplies you already have around the house. Materials are flexible depending on what you have on hand, but I recommend having the following. A pencil, a blank sheet of paper, a hardcover book for support, and pencil crayons. Before you begin, choose the window in your home that has the best view and pull up a seat. Because I wasn't sitting at a table, I used a hardcover book to support my sheet of paper. With your pencil, you're going to lightly start to sketch out the largest things you see through your window, such as roads, sidewalks, buildings, and any large trees. Make sure not to get caught up with details at this stage of the process. You're just using large shapes to map out where things will go. I live on a court, so I started with the large circle of grass in the middle and worked my way out from there, adding in the road and where people's lawns are. The wonderful thing about sketching what you see is that you get to choose what makes it into your drawing and what doesn't. I'm drawing the trees on my court because that's what I find beautiful as I look out my window, but you might have interesting looking houses or cars that you want to sketch. You'll notice that when I sketch, I'm not trying to draw with a single line, but rather many short lines that work together to create what I see. You get a lot more control this way, and there isn't as big of a commitment. For the trees, I like to start with the trunk, and have the largest branches growing in different directions, as spread out as possible. You'll see that quite a few of my branches end up overlapping with each other at some point, creating interesting negative space in between. You can get more detailed once you've sketched your main branches and start to have skinnier ones growing out of them. I've started to use some short curved lines to show where the leaves would be growing on my tree. I'm not going to focus on drawing every leaf, otherwise we'd be here all day. Instead, I'm focusing on the overall shape that the leaves create. This is one of those times where you can edit what you're seeing slightly, the trees on my court might not have their leaves right now, but I wanted to add them in anyways because I'm really excited for them to grow. To show some texture on the tree trunk, I used almost a hatching technique with short, straight lines. When you're adding texture, such as leaves, you can have a bit of fun and change it up as you go. You'll notice that I gave up on my mark making from my first tree and used some scribbly lines for the leaves on my second one. Now that I'm drawing the tree that is closest to my window, I'm making sure that I make it larger. I can add a bit more detail to this one because it's easier for me to see from where I'm sitting. Something I like to do while sketching is pay attention to where my highlights and shadows are. Right now, I can see that the sun outside is hitting the left-hand side of any surface, which means that the right-hand side is in shadow. You can show this by either pressing harder with your pencil while drawing on that side, or by going over that area more than once. For the road, I'm using the hatching technique and sketching straight lines in order to fill the space. In the center of my court, I decided to use the stippling technique for the grass. This is lots of fun, but takes a while. For the rest of the grassy areas, I once again used short, straight lines going in the direction that my grass would grow. You'll notice that until now, I've left my sky completely blank. This is because this next part is going to be done in color. Get some pencil crayons and open your window. I want you to listen to the sounds you can hear outside. Focus on one sound to start with, and try to figure out what's making it. If you had to choose a color to go with that sound, what would it be? What kind of lines would you use to draw that sound? For my first sound, I heard a bird chirping in one of the trees, and while I was drawing, it flew to different places, so I moved my pencil along with it. Once you're done with your first sound, keep listening. What else can you hear? Keep repeating this process until your entire sky is filled with different colors and mark-making techniques. 
During the few minutes it took me to sketch mine, I heard the birds, a car alarm, some of the neighborhood kids running around playing, the wind blowing, some dogs barking, and someone using a power tool. I even used the silence as my chance to fill in any empty areas with a color that I felt calming. And that's it! Your own Get Sketchy project. I hope you had fun making it. To share your projects, you can use hashtag the RMG from home.